Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about the essentials you need to start doing your nails at home. I'll show you guys the affordable products, what, what you need to do your nails at home. So, as a beginner, okay, I'm still a beginner, I'm still learning. But if you do want to get your license, obviously you will have to go to nail school for that. But if you want to see a nail tutorial on these, I did a video on it. Link will be in the down bar or in the iCard above. But without further ado, let's just jump into this video. So, I don't really know where to start off with, to be honest. Nail tips. For nail tips, I use these ones. They're from Amazon. They come in a two-pack with, like, the natural and the clear. I do recommend getting the natural and the clear nails. But they're just basic square nail tips, which is good because you could just cut them up to, like, whatever shape you want. I do sell pre-shaped nails, like stilettos, coffin. I do recommend pre-shaped nails as well. If you can't order online, definitely the nail supply store. So that's that for nail tips. Really self-explanatory as well as that is glue you can pretty much use any nail glue the one i'm using is currently from dollar tree actually which is a brush on glue because i ran out of my kbs glue which i definitely recommend that glue too that glue is really good and it dries quick this is a must-have time when you're gluing nails it doesn't stay it doesn't dry fast so this helps a lot sally's 10 to 10 to 12 dollars definitely recommend for prepping prepping is key to doing nails Prepping is what you need for your nails to not be lifting. I used to use the Me Secret Primer and Dehydrate. It's good. It personally did not work for me. So I switched to using Young Nails Protein Balm, which is really good. Definitely recommend. I know a lot of people use like Valentino and like other brands, but I just stick to Young Nails Protein Balm because it works for me. Me Secret is a really good brand to start off with with powders, monomer. There's also other affordable brands, affordable brands like Nail Supply Glamour, you know, all the other nail websites. You also need a cuticle trimmer because you've been cutting those cuticles, okay? This is the one that I use. You could get on Amazon. It's a cuticle trimmer, but it's like shaped like a nail clipper. Normally, people use these ones. I personally don't like to use these because I feel like I can't really control it how I would like it. So I feel like as a beginner, this is a good cuticle trimmer to try. Scissors. You can use scissors to cut down the nail tip and shape it. I have this one right here. I only use this for my straight C curve nail tips. Because all you could really do is just cut like the length. You can't really cut into a shape. Nail clipper to cut down the natural nail. You're going to be needing a nail drill. I recommend investing in a good one. I used to use the Melody Susie rechargeable drill. That only lasted like 5 to 7 months for me. It turned on but the hand piece like stopped rotating. I do recommend in a rechargeable um, drill. Just because like you don't want to have like so much core going on but this have lasted me over a year it works really good it's melody susie's garlic drill so yeah as for a lamp you can pretty much get any lamp i do recommend getting like a 48 watt and higher lamp so yeah this one i have since i started doing nails any lamp will work as long as it's a 48 watt and higher so as for the drill the drill bits this is the one that i use to file the bulk down and seal the cuticle area this is a fine grit ceramic drill bit every drill that you buy comes with one of these and like you switch out the um sanding band i only use that one for like to get rid of the shine of the natural nail and just kind of clean up the cuticle area a little bit when you're prepping so this is a sanding bit 180 grit nothing lower nothing higher anything else would damage your nails I do have a carbide bit. I believe it's a 5-in-1, which is like the metal one. I only use that when I'm remo removing my nails and I had to drill off most of the acrylic off. That's the only time I would use that. I do recommend a safety bit though as a beginner because these you would definitely cut yourself or your clients. Okay, so if you're just practicing for the first time, I do recommend a safety bit which is rounded at the top. So when you go around the cuticle area, it wouldn't cut you or anybody else. I have cut myself multiple times. Even now, I still cut myself because sometimes you do lose control of your drill nail file. You obviously need a nail file to sharpen those sides okay make it nice and crisp i use the 8080 grit i know a lot of people use the 100 100 which that one's also good but the 8080 grit is more coarse and i really like it i recommend like the mini buffers since you're gonna dispose them anyway so you get more these are the ones that i use they're from amazon lint-free wipes you're gonna be needing some lint-free wipes 
right here. I got them off of Amazon. I need to order more though. Just like you need your dust brush. This one is to get rid of the dust. This one is when I use it with swipe. After I dust all the dust off and then use my Young Nail Swipe to get rid of whatever is extra on there. Maybe oil or whatever. I do use the Young Nail Swipe for dehydrator pretty much because it can work as a dehydrator. So yeah, I'm running low but nail brushes. You are going to need a acrylic nail brush Kalinsky brush the hair is like Kalinsky whatever but they gotta be for nails okay you cannot use any random brush to do your nails you need a acrylic nail brush these are the ones from nail supply glamour I have size 12 and size 14 I do recommend starting off with, with the 12 or a 14 and then work your way up the bigger the brush the more product it holds makes the process faster but I know when you first start off doing like acrylic nails it does it's hard to control your powder liquid to powder ratio i definitely have when i first started doing nails it took me like five six hours just to do like a simple set like a simple white set okay now i don't you need a good brush okay you are going to be needing a dappen dish i wouldn't recommend you get like these little ones these pointless okay you cannot hold a lot of liquid i know as a beginner you will be using a lot more liquid than you would with powder but this one i got it from daiso okay from the accessory aisle <laughs> i know nail places sells like a dap and dish looks like this okay i got it for a dollar fancy okay but dap and dish can run from 10 to 15 dollars depending where you get it from but i didn't want to get a new one to be honest i used cure sky i used mia secret like i said mia secret is a good brand to start off with um i used young nails young nails is a good one too but monomer can get expensive depending on where you get it from care sky is a good brand i totally forgot about prepping you're gonna be needing a cuticle pusher i forgot to came across my mind but you need a cuticle pusher for your prepping totally missed that see i knew i was gonna miss something so for acrylic powders i pretty much use any brand that i see or if I like the color from Mia Secret to you know the good brands like not polish and stuff for colored acrylics I prefer colored acrylics over gel polish I do use gel polish if I'm doing like French tips like this when I get lazy I'm not using acrylic powder or just when I'm doing design and stuff that's the only time I would use gel polishes I like nail supply glamour it's a good brand for acrylic powder and they're only $7.99 because acrylic powder can get very expensive. You also can mix your own. Just get like a white and a clear powder and then like pigment. They do get expensive. Like this is $7.99. This is like $20. Okay. This is a one ounce and this is a two ounce. Simon Glitz is also good. They have their one ounce container. Um, they're about like six, seven dollar depending where you get it from. But Glammy Glitz is also a good brand. Their, powder, their acrylic powders are a hit and miss for me. Sometimes they have like shimmer, shimmer in it or they're not as pigmented or they marble. As for like cover powders, I like Valentino. This is like their older container, but Valentino is a good brand for cover powders. Like their classic nude. I'm going to have to restock on classic nude, but girl. Young Nails is also a good brand for cover powders. Uh, Mia Secret cover powders are also good as well. As for white, I actually use me secret white this is actually a good white to do 3d flowers with as it as to using it as an actual white acrylic powder i actually mixed it in a little with clear powder to make it more smooth obviously you're gonna need an armrest i have this one you could get it from like anywhere um and then i just have like a taller one as for nail art i feel like nail art is like a hit and miss because you will buy things that are trendy and then after it's not trendy they're just sitting there in your drawers for example these i never used they were popular ones never use them again these butterflies they're overrated okay overrated i bought them all every single one they have different color different design never use them like brand new never use them but i'm like I don't have anything like it. Like, what if I use it? You know, what if I want a shiny one? What if I want just a solid? Don't think like that. <laughs> Practice hand. You could get the one that everybody gets from Amazon, like the plastic one. Or you could get like a realistic looking hand. Mine from Red Iguana. Um, but if you do get one of these, I do recommend getting just like the four fingers. A lot of brands or nail websites sell hands like this now. 
But anywhere you get, I recommend just the four finger because who actually really do nails on the thumb that has like a full hand? Not me. I hope this video was helpful in some way, some sort. I know it's kind of all over the place. I'm sorry, but... So that's basically it for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon to my next video. Bye guys!